Blackstone Cherry, Black to Blues, uh, six tracks, 20 minutes, the third EP from this US4 piece, which we've covered extensively on the show before, uh, released September 2017 by Mascot, uh, produced by the band and recorded at the same studio that did the last studio album in. This is an EP of classic blues covers done with their spin on things and peaked at number 29 in the UK. Go for it. As the title implies, this is the band playing some old school blues classics, which is awesome because it helps to keep those songs alive mm. and hopefully introduces them to a whole new audience who might be inspired to check out the originals. The, the covers are mostly faithful to the originals, but it gives them the Blackstone Cherry style mm. and therefore it rocked them up a bit. Uh, it maintains their swing though, which is important. Some of these songs like Palace of the King, Hoochie Coochie Man and Born Under a Bad Sign have been covered various times in so many different ways. It's always interesting how a band puts their own spin on them. Mm. They're kind of classics. Um, well, they are classics, kind of standards is what I'm trying to say. Um, would have been interesting to hear them do Baby Please Don't Go, but how many bands have done that already? Mm. Great vocals for these old songs. Um, breeds new life into them. I like when bands do EPs or covers in between proper albums. It breaks things up and it's really interesting. Yep. Um, 9 out of 10 gave um, Built for Comfort, Palace of the King, Hoochie Coochie Man and Born Under a Bad Sign. Nice. Now, for me, first off, I have to say I'm not as familiar as I would like to be with the original versions okay. of these. Uh, there's tracks from Willie Dixon, Muddy Waters, Freddie King, and Albert King that make this up overall. But that said, this has their sound. Uh, it's a little looser this time around, which is exactly mm. what they were going for in when you listen, when you go through the reading of the production process. Um, but they wanted to make it more of a live feel and they got that on this. The production suits, it's got that gritty feel to it, but it's clear, you can hear everything. That said, this is all them. For me, not knowing the originals that well does make me feel like I'm listening to Blackstone and Cherry. Okay. It does fit them. So the versions, the arrangements they've made fit their sound. So they've done a really good job of just taking songs and making it their own, in my opinion. You can tell it's blues, but they've given it their stamp. And I love the track order on this. It's only 20 minutes in an EP, but it's laid out really well. You listen to it and it takes you through it. Like it's a good listen from start to finish. I love the layering applied to it. The little things tucked away sonically, like the piano and the brass sections, add some really cool depth to the sound overall. And I love the Southern feel in the guitar work. Like you were talking about the swing, it's yeah. being critical and it, they've captured that yeah. so well on this. Uh, the arrangement of the individual songs is really well done too. A great application of space in the songs, but they've given them a big set of balls. So like you were saying, they've, they've yeah, made them up. Yeah. Yep. Like, yeah, great groove and swing in it. Some great chugging riffs on here as well. And the best thing about this is that it's just another string to their bow, mm. in my opinion. This feels all Blackstone Cherry, but it's not gimmicky at all, in my opinion. I didn't get the impression. You know, sometimes bands will release covers and you go, yeah, there's a bit of a gimmick yeah. attached to that. I didn't get that feeling with this okay. at all. Great song choices, really well arranged. It suits them really damn well. This band just keeps getting better and better, in my opinion. If you haven't seen them fucking live, you really should. They're fucking Me amazing. Too. Um, another great thing is it's hard to pick favourites in my opinion each time you listen to it you'll lean toward a different track I don't know if you found the same thing yeah, not, each time you listen to it like, I like that and, oh, no, but I, yeah. and it just changes your mind every time you listen to it all ripping tracks this is the perfect little tide me over until the next album drops uh, if anything makes if anything this makes me more keen for the next album because you know that this is going to have an influence yeah. on what happens next to the band I hope they play some of these songs live too when they That's tour good, next. Yeah. Um, great little listen. I recommend you check it out because while it's classic blues, it's definitely done in the Blackstone Cherry fashion. 8 out of 10, Champagne and Reefer, That's Palace fun. of the King, and Born Under a Bad Sign. So we crossed over on the, on the standouts cool. there. So check it out for yourselves. Give us your thoughts.